We have seen that the last decade enormous growth of the number of patients coming to us. We are currently doing about 800 cases a year and approximately half of the cases are AF ablation. Unfortunately, the wait list is about four months. This is always a little bit of a disappointment for patients because they want to have the procedure done yesterday. So if there are ways to shorten the waiting list, we are very keen on exploring them. My name is Yuri Blau, I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist and I'm the head of the Department of Clinical Electrophysiology at the University Medical Center of Groningen in the Netherlands. Groningen is a typical student city. There are a lot of bars, there are a lot of restaurants, there is cultural activity. It's great for cycling, there's not a lot of traffic. If I go to work, almost all of my colleagues, we, we join each other, so we ride together to work. We are a tertiary referral hospital for the northern part of the Netherlands and we are a large university hospital. Our main task is obviously patient care and we have a dedication for cardiac research. We have introduced the Farowave system one and a half year ago. We've done almost 400 cases now. When we started doing the Farowave cases, we did not change our planning. So we did the same number of cases as we did before in our previous AF ablation cases. But we quickly noticed that we were done at one o'clock. On average, we, we did about three to four cryo-balloon cases per day. With the introduction of the new ablation system, we can do now up to five to six cases a day. You can imagine what this means for the number of patients you can do per year. And you can also imagine what it means for your waiting list. Okay, confirm, deliver. Confirm, deliver. Bam. Completely gone, great. On average, our case lasted about 75 minutes. And we do now our cases with the Farowave procedure and the average procedure time is now about an hour. And some of these ca cases are even much quicker and we have seen cases that were done in 35 minutes. Okay, exit block, heel goed. Dankjewel, that's it. If we plan a day and it should end at four o'clock or five o'clock, I mean, it is quite consistent that with the number of cases we do now, we will make this. So we don't have to work longer than uh, scheduled. We have also seen that the procedure times are more reproducible. Um, and we have seen also less variation between operators in procedure time. Confirm, deliver. Before we were not able to schedule the same amount of uh, cases per operator, but now it is much more uh, reproducible. So you have to make some changes to your workflow. You have to inform the wards, you have to inform the, the scheduling, and this will have impact on your volume you can do per year. So you have to be prepared for that. We do these fire wave cases as a same day discharge. It has impact on how the patients also uh, see the procedure. So we have been using ICE now for almost five years in all our transeptal punctures. We find it particularly helpful in locating the Farawave catheter to make sure that you are in contact or at least in close contact to the pulmonary vein. You can actually reduce the duration of fluoroscopy. Okay, so check where we are. It's nice in the ostium of the vein. There is no data at this point in time that if you use ice, that this will create better uh, outcome. Uh, but I would not be surprised if this would be the case. If you are in close contact to the pulmonary vein, I have not seen any cases that we were not able to isolate the pulmonary veins. So we have seen reproducible procedure times. We have seen short learning curves. We've seen low complication rates, and we have also observed that uh, uh, the procedural efficacy is about 80%. We are into a revolution of our field with introduction of new energy sources. And it is, uh, it's great to be part of this. It's a super exciting time to be an EP.